Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Boki Akimare. I'm a food blogger and I live in Lagos, Nigeria. If this is your first time on my channel, please click the subscribe button. It's absolutely free. Click on the bell also so you get notifications when I post new videos. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you how I make my okra ogbono soup. This is one of my favorite soups. It's so delicious. It's so easy, so quick, unless, of course, you're cooking your meat from scratch. But if you're not, it's really, really quick to put together. And it's so yum. If you love okra and you love ogbono, this is a win-win for you because this is absolutely fab. So stay with me while I show you how I make it. For this soup, I'm using a mix of goat meat and shaki. I'm using fresh okra. I'm using also my brown ogbono. I'm using smoked catfish. This is uziza leaves that I'm going to slice into my soup. It gives it so much flavor, guys. I love, love cooking soups with uziza leaves. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it. This is iro, which is locust spins. I'm using some. I'm also going to use palm oil. I'm using this chopped onions to cook my meat and I'm using fresh ginger and garlic paste. I always have this in my freezer. It's fantastic flavor for your meat, for boiling your meat. It's so, so good. If you don't use it, start using it now. For spices, I'm keeping it simple. I'm using stock cubes, salt, ground, pef ground crayfish and Cameroon pepper. I'm going to cook my meat first so that, you know, that's just out of the way and it starts to cook while I'm prepping all the other things. So I'm going to start first by just frying the meat to this pot. I'll add my ginger and my garlic paste. Add some stock cubes. Now I like to cook my meat with fresh herbs, but today I don't have any, so I'm going to skip that. It gives a really good flavor. I'm going to add some salt to this. And this is just how I boil my meat. This is enough, trust me guys. Aside from the fresh herbs, if you use all of this, it's fine. You only pour curry, thyme, white pepper, onion powder, all those fancy fancy things to cook your meat. Cook it this way. With very little water, the flavors will be awesome. I forgot my onions. Cook your meat with lots and lots of onions if you can help it. Onions give really good flavor to food, any type of food, let alone boiling meat, it's like awesome. If I was cooking chicken, I would have used bay leaf because that gives a really good flavor. Chicken and turkey, so good. So, I'm just going to stir all of this together. I'm going to let it steam. So I'm not adding any water, I'm going to let it steam. It will release its own um, water, its own juices, and then I'll see how much and then so I'm, I'll see how much it releases and then I know how much water I'm going to add because I want really flavorful stuff. Now I'm going to cut my okra. I cut my okra in different shapes. So I'm going to cut some like this. I'll cut about half of it like this. And then the, and then the other half I'm going to chop um, really finely. I'm going to chop those up. I just like different textures of okra in my um, in my soup. So I'm going to have like two different shapes in the soup. Oh and by the way, when I make my okra and ogbono soup, I prefer to have more okra than ogbono. I know some people like it the other way, but I like to have more okra than ogbono in my soup and it's so so good.
my meat is now soft, so I'm going to take it out and let the shaki continue to cook. I'll leave this for another 15 minutes or so until it's soft. Also now going to dissolve my obono. There are three or so methods for cooking obono, but this is the one that I like. I like to add my palm oil to my ground obono and sort of dissolve it this way. So all of the palm oil that I'm going to use to cook the soup is in here now. I'm not going to add any extras. I'll add a little bit more. Yeah, it's properly dissolved now, so this is all I need to do. All of my meat is soft and I've added everything back into this pot. I'm going to add some more water. And then I'm going to add the locust beans, the ear. I'll also add the Cameroon pepper, the ground crayfish, and a little bit of salt that is left in this tray. I'm going to add a little more water. When this starts to boil, I'm going to add in my dissolved obono. Actually, I'm going to add my fish first before I add in the obono. Of course, you need to taste it and make sure that all of your seasoning is still fine. Because this soup comes together in no time at all. If it's too thick, you can still add water. See how really thick my obono is. I'm going to add a little bit more water and one stock cubes just because of all the water that I'm adding. I'm going to let this cook for about two minutes or so before I add in my okra. Your obono needs to be as light as possible because you still need to cook the okra in here. So it needs to be really light. I think it needs to be lighter than this, you guys. Make sure you're adjusting the seasoning also as you're adding the water because it's going to be losing flavor, of course. I'm also going to add a little bit more crayfish powder to this. Okay, so now let's cook for that two minutes before I add in my okra. This obono is now ready for the okra. I'm going to pour both of them at the same time, obviously. This is where you needed to add more water because the soup is going to get very very thick 
all of that viscosity from the ogbono from the okra is going to make it really really thick if that's how you like it that's fine but if you feel like it's too thick then you need to add water when you're adding water to your soups make sure you're adding hot water as opposed to um, room temperature water or cold water hot water just means that the water is already hot so when it hits your food that you're already cooking it's almost the same temperature and it can almost you know start to cook immediately rather than having to wait for that water to boil and you know all that this is how thick this soup is i don't like it this thick so i'm going to add some more water and it feels like i'm adding a lot of water to this i don't like my soup this thick so i'm adding really hot water I think we're good now. I'm just going to give this time to cook. I'm going to add my uziza leaves so that everything can cook at the same time. This okra needs only about five minutes or so to cook. So I'm going to add the leaves now and let everything start to cook together because uziza leaves are a little tough. So it needs to cook well. This soup is ready for me because I like my okra crunchy but if you want to cook it a bit longer that's fine this was cooking for about eight minutes after I added the okra so this is what this looks like with all my rishi rishi things in it and it is so the viscosity is just perfect the way I like it I'm going to eat this soup with Eba, which is my favorite, and I really can't wait to dig in. Just look at that. Of course, I'm not eating all of this. I'm just trying to show you guys what the soup looks like, the viscosity, because I know some people complain that their soup doesn't draw and whatnot. I don't know. But um, this is a perfect recipe for you to try. I'm just going to taste the soup now. I usually don't taste on camera, but you guys always ask me why I don't eat on camera. But I'm going to taste the soup so I can tell you what it tastes like. So good. The okra is still crunchy, just how I like it. The flavor that the uziza leaves give is unmatched. If you don't already put uziza leaves in your soup, you need to start doing it. It's so, so good. And the pepper, the Cameroon pepper, it's just perfect. The amount of oil. Because I like more okra in this soup, I have more okra in it. But if you want to put more okra, then that's fine. But I like the ratio of this. It's just perfect. It's really good. And it's just awesome. You guys see how yum this soup looks it's perfect with eba with pounded yam with semo with amala with any swallow that you like you can even eat it on its own for those of you that like to lick your soup on its own i hope you've enjoyed watching this video if you have give me a thumbs up leave me your comments and your suggestions or questions in the comment section i always respond to them you can find me on instagram at the kitchen muse on twitter at kitchen muse ng and i'll see you guys next time if you haven't already subscribed to my channel though do that before you leave thank you so much i'll see See you next time. Bye-bye.